how to configure ER span or encapsulated remote switched span or port analyzer. The Cisco uh, ER span uh, feature allows you to monitor traffic on ports or VLANs and send the monitored traffic to destination ports. It sends traffic to a network analyzer such as a uh, switch probe device or a remote monitoring uh, Armon probe. It supports source ports, source VLANs, and destination ports on different devices, which helps remote monitoring of multiple devices across a uh, network. Uh, it supports encapsulated packets of up to 9,180 bytes. It consists of an ER span source session, routable ER span GRE encapsulated traffic, and an uh, ER span destination session. So this is something that you can use if you have this kind of topology. So. You know, the, uh, you know, I talked about span and R span, and the problem with those is that you cannot route the the uh, the traffic, the span traffic to another to another network. So in this scenario, uh, we can use ER span. So here uh, I have this topology. Unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, show you how to configure it on R1 and R2 because my devices don't support ER span and uh, my devices in GNS3 don't support ER span. But I will just go through the configurations and just explain it. <clears throat> and I can also just you know come back to this video and watch just in case uh, I need to use or to configure ER span. In the future. So yeah, let me just explain this topology here. Um, I have R1 and R2. You know they have connectivity. Let's just assume that you know there is layer three connectivity uh, in this network, and you know uh, because before you can configure ER span, you need to. I mean, you usually. You should usually configure it in a production network, right? Because, uh, yeah, that's how you would monitor traffic uh, or just generate, yeah, monitor traffic for <clears throat> some kind of analysis. So, okay, let me go through the configuration here. Uh, this is actually an example of uh, configuring a ER span source session. I got this from this link here, and um, yeah. So this is how you. Let me just. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, I can just uh, explain this here. <clears throat> so this is how you configure uh, ER span, ER span source here. And of course, you will configure it on R1. And your source interface is this. So in our ex example, this is the source interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. And of course, you can specify or filter the VLAN if you know it happens that this port here is a trunk. So you can filter the VLAN. So in this case, in my example, I'm just allowing VLAN 100. And okay, so this enters source session destination configuration mode, okay? And this is where you specify the ER span ID. So in my case, I'm using 100. And this should be uh, also configured on the destination ER span destination session configuration, and you can see it here. So, so they should match the the ER span ID should match on source and destination devices. 
And here, this is the destination IP address of the ER span traffic. And this is, uh, so looking at our topology, this would be this IP address here. So 192.168.2.100. And the origin IP address is the source IP of the ER span traffic, which is, in my case, this should be this IP here, 192.168.12.1. And of course, you have to no shut the RSPAN because by default it is disab disabled. And that's it. That's how you can configure the a ERSPAN ERSPAN source session on uh, a device. So in our case, R1. And next is this is how you configure a ER span destination session. So in my case, I'm configuring it. I'm going to configure it on R2, which don't, which doesn't support, like I said, doesn't support uh, this feature. <clears throat> so yeah, so you can see here that the type is ER span destination as opposed to the here. And of course, you have to no shut it as well. And this is how you specify the destination interface, which is in my case, this one here. So this is the interface that is connected to the uh, workstation that has uh, Wireshark, for example, so here. <clears throat> and next is, uh, this is how you go into the uh, destination uh, configuration mode, I mean source uh, configuration mode. And sorry, the, I should say source, yeah, source. <clears throat> because you have to also uh, specify the same ER span ID. And this here is the destination IP address. Uh, which is, in my case, this one. And yeah, that's it. And this is uh, some of the show commands that you can use to verify it. All right, that's it in this video. Um, just wanted to make a video and just, uh, you know, uh, just uh, discuss this particular topic.